Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's Ayaz here and I am back with one of the interesting videos. So here today I'm just going to share with you a few examples of uh, theory questions um, from uh, PNMDP Q Bank and the topic is pediatric hematology. Um, the good thing is that you can register for uh, this test uh, and it's free forms are available on our Facebook page. Please subscribe to our channel for more contents, long cases videos, at a glance video section of common pediatric and neonatal topics. So here I'm just going to discuss with you one of the questions. So for example, one of the questions from our Q bank, a four year old known case of hemophilia A presented in ED with hematuria from the morning, which of the following is the best management plan? And uh, such questions can be asked in theory and it can be asked uh, in your talks as well. Very favorite question for FCPS as well as in MRCPCH or MRCPI. So think about the answer. I'm just going to share you share with you the answer of that question. So the answer, the options are here is 1.5 times of the maintenance fluid. You will give the prednisolone, or you will give the uh, replacement uh, with 20 international unit per kg or 40 international unit, or you refer to the pediatric nephrology. So usually in our q bank we do add uh, explanations as well, and it's very useful, and many candidates appreciate it. So here is the explanation which when, when you attempt this test, uh, the answer will be shown to you at the end with the explanations uh, and, and it's good for your revision as well. So management of hematuria and hemophilia A is the bed rest, 1.5 times of the maintenance fluids and if it's not controlled in 1 to 2 days, then you can give 20 international unit per kg of the factor 8 concentrate and even if not controlled, give the prednisolone unless patient is HIV infected and also remember values of factor 8 or factor 9 must be raised to hemostatic levels in 35 to 50 percent range for life-threatening or major hemorrhages the dose should aim to achieve the levels of 100 percent activity so these are examiner's favorite questions both in theory talks and clinical and the reference is the Nelson textbook obviously and I'm just going to share with the other one of the other questions as well So here, if you can see, a three-year-old presented a known case of uh, sickle cell, uh, sickle beta uh, or thalassemia with weakness in ED in district hospital. His investigation performed, which showed following and referred to you. What will be your first step in management? And what do you think? What this CT scan is showing? Think about it and then let's check the answer. So you will give the O2 inhalation to keep O2 more than 96% with blood transfusion within an hour or you will give the O2 inhalation with morphine infusion, O2 inhalation with nifidipine, O2 inhalation with IV antibiotics or O2 inhalation with chest x-ray. Let's check the explanation. So usually you will attempt uh, this test online we usually seven once uh, you registered for this test we usually send a link for the test you will click on the link and uh, the test is if 20 questions the test is usually for 22 minutes and then you can attempt the test and after that the uh, answer will be shown to you so here the ct brain showed the infarct as you can see for patients presenting with acute focal neurologic deficit a prompt pediatric neurological evaluation and consultation with pediatric hematologist is recommended in addition, oxygen administration to keep oxygen saturation above 96% and simple blood transfusion within one hour of presentation with a goal of increasing hemoglobin to maximum of 10 gram uh, per day is warranted. So at least if you don't have the hematologist, you can give the oxygen to the patient and you can raise the uh, hemoglobin. A timely simple blood transfusion is important because this is the most efficient strategy to dramatically increase the oxygen content of the blood if SO2 is above 96 percent so hope you will uh, uh, you will like this video so please subscribe to our channel and uh, I will share the more content with you thank you so much
Allah Hafiz.